Hey everyone, I'm Decker from Enigmatic Devices, and today we're going to talk about plants. But more than that, we're going to talk about a weird experiment to see if plants can affect the ordering of random numbers. Can they bend probability to give them an edge in their growth and evolution? Let's find out. So I do a lot of experiments, but my favorites are the ones that are simple on the surface but have astounding implications. And I learned about this one while watching Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, the newest documentary by ufologist Dr. Stephen Greer. The film is about a protocol for contacting alien intelligence. And as intriguing as that might be, what really sparked my interest was a short clip about 50 minutes in. Here we cut to Adam Michael Curry, inventor and tech entrepreneur who discusses an unpublished plant RNG study that he participated in in the notorious Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab, or Pear Lab. If you haven't heard of this lab, They've done a tremendous amount of mind-over-matter types of experiments where they've attempted to show how conscious thought can have an influence over the physical environment. In this case, we're talking about how plants can have an influence over their physical environment. If you want to learn more about Paralabs, I've included a link in the description below. Check it out. Back to Adam Michael Curry and plants. Here's how he described the experiment. You have a room with no windows, and you have a house plant that needs light to grow. You have a single light up on the roof. The growing light can turn in one of four quadrants, and which quadrant that light is showing is controlled by a random number generator. So you put the plant in one corner of the room. The light has an equal chance of shining in all four quadrants, but if you give it enough time, what you'll find is that the light actually shines far more often on the plant than on the other coordinates. He concludes with, It's as though life itself, even life or consciousness in something as simple as a house plant, bends probability in the physical world in the direction of what it needs, in the direction of its growth and evolution. Okay, that sounds crazy. But in actuality, not that difficult of an experiment to try to cre recreate, and that's what we did, and you can try this out too. If you want to learn how to do this, check out the link in this video's description for step-by-step -step instructions. Here's what I use for this. A hardware random number generator, some smart plugs, a few grow lights, a Raspberry Pi, some scrap wood, a few Python scripts, a way to record the results of the experiment, and oh yeah, a plant. The basic idea is to build a cabinet. And you build the cabinet in the shape of an X so that there are four partitions. In the corner of each partition, you mount an LED grow light and then wire it through a hole in the top. On the top of the cabinet, you have a power strip with four smart plugs that you can control programmatically. On a PC or a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi, you connect a hardware random number generator. You then use Python scripts to select a random number that corresponds to each one of the smart plugs, which then turns on the designated grow light. So you might be asking yourself, why do I need a hardware random number generator when I could just ask my PC to provide a random number? The answer is that for mind over matter types of experiments, research shows that you need random numbers based on a physical or quantum process. Your PC actually generates pseudo-random numbers, which is not good enough. See the link in the description for details about this research. Okay, back to the cabinet. Once you have the rig built, put it in a dark room and choose one of the partitions to place the plant. Now just sit back and wait while running the script in a loop. Every few seconds, the script will choose which one of the four grow lights to light up, and this will just run forever until the script is stopped. Because of the shape of the cabinet, Light will be blocked from the plant, except when the grow light is chosen for the partition where the plant is located. In a perfect world, over time, you should see each of the grow lights having exactly the same chance of lighting. With four of them, each should be lit about 25% of the time. What we're trying to find out is whether the grow light in front of the plant will light more often. Does the plant somehow influence the random number selection to give it an edge in its growth? In other words, with four grow lights, does the closest light to the plant light more often than 25% of the time? Okay, here's what I found out. After running my script for close to 300,000 cycles, I have to admit that I haven't seen enough of a trend to support the claim. As you can see from my chart here, my plant is in position number two, and if the light in that partition was favored in any way, there should be a percentage higher than 25%, which unfortunately there isn't. So I'm not giving up yet. There are additional levers that can be pulled and dials turned to try to make this experiment a success, and here are a few that I can think of. 
Does the type of plant matter? In other words, are some plants better RNG influencers? Does the age of the plant matter? In other words, does nature favor burgeoning life somehow? What if there are multiple plants? Is there a coherence effect? What if I change the light duration? Does changing the criteria for the random number selection make a difference? In other words, perhaps instead of simply selecting a number from 1 to 4, I could light the preferred partition based on an observed ordering effect. The closer the random number is skewed towards 0, the more often the preferred partition is lit. So if I have any success with future experiments, I'll make sure to update this video. That's it, everyone. Check out the description link if you want to try this for yourself, and if you do, drop me an email let me know how it went. And if you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Thank you.